All right, this, this is sentence structure. It says use the following sentences to create the required sentences. Use the following clauses and punctuate the sentences correctly. All right, so number one, it says write a simple sentence. All right, so we can we could use any of these independent clauses. You can write, he sat down on his chair, period. The old man called the sister, period, or the dog wagged his tail, period. Any of those would go in the simple sentence category. Let me just copy and paste those. Just add a period to them, and these are sentences. Okay. Now, the next one, compound sentence punctuated all three ways. So what we're going to do is we take two of these two of these clauses and we're going to join them together. So I'm going to take the first one. He sat down on his chair. I'm going to take this line out because it gets annoying. Okay. So we're going to put that. He sat down on his chair. And I'm going to use the other one. The dog wagged its tail. And I'm going to put that right there. Okay. Now it's one sentence. So I don't need a capital letter. Compound sentences punctuated all three ways. A comma and a coordinating conjunction. So I'm going to use it this way. He sat down on his chair. Comma. And the dog wagged its tail. Period. All right. We could do... We could do this in several ways. The dog sat down on this chair, but the dog wagged its tail. And you, you can get the picture. We sat down on the chair and or nor for, but yet and so. So that is the only thing that would change would be this these uh, coordinating conjunctions. So that is the correct way to do this one, okay. Now let's go to the second. Compound sentences punctuated all three ways. So the sec second sentence, we wanna take this line out and we put, these bullets aren't going. All right, take out the comma and put a semicolon. And there we have it. That is the correct way to do that. And then the third way is with the semicolon, conjunctive adverb, and comma. He sat down on the chair. Semicolon, moreover, comma, the dog wagged its tail. So that's the way you do those. Super easy. Okay, let's go on. The next one is a compound, I'm sorry, a complex sentence with an introductory subordinate clause. All right, so we have subordinate and independent. Let's take one of these clauses when he went to the store. I'm gonna bring it down here. And, and now we need an independent clause. All right, so when we went to the store, the old man called his sister. This is going to be our sentence. We have an independent clause at the beginning, and we have, an, I'm sorry, a subordinate clause at the beginning, an independent clause at the end. So we're going to capitalize the first letter. When he went to the store is an introductory, meaning it comes at the beginning of the sentence, subordinate clause. Therefore, we're going to add the comma. When, we, when he went to the store, the old man called his sister. This is the correct way to do. Let's see if we can do another one. Let's start with this one. All right, it says an introductory subordinate clause. So we're gonna move this subordinate clause at the, at the front of the sentence because he was ill. Okay. He sat down on the chair. We're gonna put a capital letter here. We're gonna put a comma 
after the introductory subordinate clause, and we're going to put a period to make a sentence. Let's see if we can do another one. Uh, while he was at dinner, So while he's at dinner is a subordinate clause. We're going to put a comma after that. The dog wagged its tail. Now we just need to go in and put our punctuation, capitalize the first letter, and put a period right there. So that is the way we would, we would choose um, those three examples of making a complex sentence with an introductory subordinate clause. All right, let's see what's next. All right, a complex sentence, I'm going to go ahead and put this on the next page. A complex sentence with a subordinate clause at the end of a sentence. Okay, let me take out these lines. These lines get annoying. All right, a complex sentence. A complex sentence has one independent and one subordinate clause. So let me just see what I've got in my memory here. All right, a complex sentence with one with a subordinate clause at the end of the sentence. All right, so we, all I have to do is just copy that. The dog wag, wagged its tail while he ate dinner. Now, because the subordinate clause comes at the end of the sentence and it is essential, then we're not going to put a comma. So that is correct like that. All right, let me go get all of these and let's bring them down so I can see. Put them right here. So we want a complex sentence with the subordinate clause at the end of the sentence. So we always start with our independent clause. He sat down on his chair. While he ate dinner. And we put a period. That is correct. Independent clause comes first. We don't need any punctuation between. Um, the old man called his sister. Uh, because he was ill. We could use that. Because he was ill. We put a period at the end. We don't need anything uh, between them because the in the subordinate clause comes at the end of the sentence and in these they are essential. All right, let's do the next one. A compound complex sentence with introductory subordinate clause. So a compound complex has two independent and one subordinate. So let's start with this because he was ill and I'm going to just That's weird. Because he was ill, he sat down on his chair. I'm sorry, I'll get all that stuff off of there. X. And I need two independent. We're going to say the dog wagged its tail. Okay, now we have our clauses where they need to be. So it says an introductory subordinate clause. So here we have because he was ill. That comes at the beginning of the sentence. We need to capitalize the B and because. Now we have to set that off with the comma. That's one of the rules. It comes at the beginning of the sentence. We set it off with the comma. All right. Uh, we're going to take out the H and make it a lowercase. And we're going to take out the capital T and make it a lowercase. 
So now I have to join these two independent clauses to, together. So we're just going to call, say comma and. He sat down on, because he was ill, he sat down on his chair and the dog wagged its tail. And we'll put a period at the end. All right, let's do that one the other two ways because we've got two independent clauses together. All right, because he was ill, he sat down on his chair, semicolon, take out the and, the dog wagged its tail. Or because he was ill, comma, he sat down on his chair, semicolon, therefore, comma, the dog wagged its tail. So let me just make these red, what I've done, so you can see. This is this concept is so easy, but I've had so many students, I had so many students learn it and get it, but I've had a lot of students that it uh, was a little overwhelming, but if you just break it down into see what it's asking, break it into its parts, it's pretty easy. All right, so we let's make sure we have a compound complex sentence. Compound complex means we have two independent and one subordinate clause with an introductory subordinate clause. Introductory means it comes first. So we have introductory here. We have one, two independent clauses, one, two independent clauses, one, two independent clauses. So these are done correct. And this is just extra, we don't need that. And I don't know why my paper is not letting me take out spaces. That's really annoying. It's kind of weird, actually. Never really something. It must be because it's on video. It must be messing with my word. Um, okay, I'll take those off. Make that big. All right, let's go to number six. A compound complex sentence with subordinate clause between the two independent clauses. All right. So let's say compound complex. So that means we have an independent clause. And stop it. then we have a subordinate clause. And then we have an independent clause. Okay, now let's see how we have to punctuate it. We put a capital H at the beginning. He sat down on his chair. All right, now this is the independent clause because he's, because he sat down on his chair. That's one independent clause. Then the subordinate clause because the dog because he was ill. So we don't need any kind of punctuation when the independent clause comes before the subordinate clause. But we do need punctuation when the subordinate clause comes before the independent clause. So we're going to put a comma right there. Does that make sense? So compound complex sentence with subordinate clause between the two independent clauses. All right, that's how we do this one. Number seven, the compound complex sentence with the subordinate clause at the end of the sentence. All right, let's get um, these. Let's take those. Oh, you know what? I have all this in a table. That's why it's not. Let me delete stuff. Okay. Give me a second here. Okay, that'll make, let me work with it now. Okay, so compound complex sentence, that means we need two independent and one subordinate, and the subordinate clause comes at the end of the sentence. All right, so we're going to say the dog wagged its tail. And the old man called his sister because he was ill. Okay, now how do I punctuate that? So the subordinate clause comes at the end of the sentence. So we have an independent clause and then another independent clause. Maybe if I made these different colors, that would help. Let's make this a blue. The old man called his sister. Make that green because he was ill. Let's make that orange. Okay, now we can see a little better. All right, so now we have two independent clauses. So I can I can join this with put an and, and we're going to make that green because it would kind of go with the other one. Okay. Um, All 
All right. So I have an introductory independent clause. I have a comma and a conjunction right here. I'll just make that red so you can see it. And then I have an independent clause before a subordinate clause. So I need a period at the end, but I don't need any punctuation between the independent clause and the subordinate clause because the independent clause comes first. Okay, so let's try this again. And let's just change this. Now we have independent clause, the semicolon independent clause. Let's do it one more time. Now we have an independent clause. We have um, semicolon, conjunctive adverb, comma. So the dog wagged its tail, therefore the old man called his sister because he was ill. All right, that's how we how we do those. It's super, super easy. You just have to, you just have to apply each of the rules in order to make that work. Okay, I'll come back with the next one.